6. Group Life Insurance Group insurance policies can provide a variety of benefits that are often packaged together, including medical and dental benefits, disability benefits and life insurance. This chapter concentrates on life insurance provided through a group insurance plan. The remaining group insurance benefits are covered in the Accident and Sickness Insurance Module. 6.1 How Group Life Insurance Works Group Life Insurance is coverage that is offered by a plan sponsor to a group of people who have some form of common association with that sponsor. 6.1.1 What constitutes a group Almost any group that has a sufficient number of people with a common characteristic can be insured under a group life insurance plan. For example, group life insurance plans may be available to black small square all employees of a certain employer, Black Small Square executives and managers of a certain employer, Black Small Square alumni from a specific university, Black Small Square members of an occupational association, Black Small Square members of a business association, Black Small Square members of a retail association. Example, Helen is a university graduate with an engineering degree, and she is registered as a professional engineer with an occupational association. She is self employed as a consultant and is a member of her local chamber of commerce. She has also purchased memberships with two retail associations. Because she is self-employed, she cannot obtain life insurance through her employer. However, she frequently receives invitations to apply for group life insurance through the university's alumni association and the other associations. Life Insurance Chapter 6 Group Life Insurance 94 6.1.2 Policyholder the policyholder of a group life insurance plan is the business or organization that enters into a contract with an insurance company to provide life insurance coverage to the members of its group. The policyholder is often referred to as the plan sponsor. 6.1.3 Master Contract A group life insurance plan is governed by a master contract between the plan sponsor and the life insurance company. There is no direct contract between the life insured and the insurance company. This means that the plan member has no control over the contract beyond naming the beneficiary and potentially buying additional optional coverage if the plan permits. Example Derek suffers from a health problem that will not allow him to buy life insurance. His employer offers a group life insurance plan with $100,000 of coverage for which he is eligible despite his medical condition. Because the group member is not the policyholder, he does not get a copy of the master contract. However, all of his benefits and rights under the contract will be described in a benefit booklet, which he will receive upon joining the plan. Point 12. 6.1 point for group membership. A group plan member is a person who is insured under the group plan's master contract. To obtain coverage under a group life insurance plan, the plan member must meet the eligibility criteria that define the group, as set by the plan sponsor. If the plan is sponsored by a membership association, example, an alumni association, professional association, chamber of commerce, the person generally has to be a current association member in good standing to obtain coverage under the group life insurance plan. For these types of group plans, membership in the group plan is optional, and the member has to apply for coverage. Group members generally must maintain their membership in the sponsoring organization to continue coverage over time. Some plans give the member an option to convert to individual term or permanent coverage if they terminate their association membership, as discussed in the section Conversion Privileges. If the group life insurance plan is sponsored by an employer, new employees are generally eligible to become members of the plan upon satisfying the group's probationary period which is the length of time they must work for that employer before they are eligible for coverage. The probationary period, which is often in the order of three months, may also be referred to as the waiting period. Some employers automatically enroll employees in the group life insurance plan as soon as they have satisfied the probationary period. Other employers give the employee the option of becoming a plan member, particularly if the plan requires employee contributions. If membership is optional, the employee usually has a limited period of time called the enrollment period, which occurs after the probationary period, during which time he can enroll in the group plan and obtain life insurance coverage without providing any evidence of insurability. 6.1.4.1 Actively at Work Requirement 
For employer-sponsored group plans, one additional requirement is that the employee must be actively at work on the day his coverage under the group plan starts. If enrollment is optional and the employee decides to enroll in the plan partway through the enrollment period, he must actually be at work before coverage will commence. If he is away from work due to illness or vacation, his coverage will not begin until he returns to work. 6.1.4.2 for .2 Membership Classes The amount of coverage available under a group life insurance plan is generally determined the same way for everyone within that group, as discussed in the section schedule of benefits. However, some employer-sponsored group plans may have more than one membership class under a single group plan, with different amounts of coverage for each class. Example The DEF company, manufacturer of kitchen cupboards, sponsors a group insurance plan for its employees. The plan provides a death benefit equal to one times salary for all full-time factory floor employees and two times salary for all salaried managerial staff. 6.1.5 Premiums The premiums for group life insurance are based on the makeup of the group as a whole and not the specifics of each individual. For example, the life insurance company might charge $0.20 cents for every $1,000 of coverage, and that rate will apply to each person in the group, regardless of that person's age, gender or smoking status. However, the insurance company will usually recalculate the premium every year to reflect changes in the group's demographics over time. For example, if the group's average age increases, the premiums per member will likely increase as well to reflect the greater risk of death. Most group life insurance plans require the employer to cover at least 50% of the premiums themselves, but some employers choose to pay the full amount. If the group plan is contributory, i.e., if the employees must cover a portion of the premiums, the employer remits the full amount of premiums to the insurance company, and then deducts the employee's contributions directly from their pay. 6.1.5.1 Tax Treatment for Employer if an employer pays some or all of the premiums for a group life insurance plan, it can deduct those premiums as a business expense. 6.1.5.2 Tax Treatment for Employee If an employer pays some or all of the premiums for a group life insurance plan, those premiums are considered to be a taxable benefit for the employee. Any premiums paid by the employee are not deductible to either the employer or the employee. The premiums paid by the employee via payroll deduction are taken from his pay. Example Amy is a member of her employer's group life insurance plan. The annual premiums for Amy's participation in the plan amount to $500, and the employer pays 60% of these premiums, or $300. This results in a taxable benefit of $300 for Amy, which will be added to her annual income. The employer also deducts $200 from her pay to cover her share of the premiums. Regardless of who pays the premiums, any death benefits paid out under a group life insurance plan are not taxable to the employee, his estate, or the beneficiary of the policy. 6.1.5.3 Sales Tax on Premiums Like individual life insurance premiums, premiums paid under a group life insurance plan are subject to a provincial insurance premium tax, which ranges from 2% to 5% of life insurance premiums, depending on the province. This provincial insurance tax is usually built right into the price quoted by the insurance company. However, unlike individual life insurance premiums, premiums paid under a group life insurance plan are also subject to provincial retail sales tax in some provinces, as follows, 13 black small square 8% in Ontario. Black small square 9.975% in Quebec, black small square 7% in Manitoba, was scheduled to drop to 6% on July 1, 2020, but the decrease has been postponed until further notice. In addition, Gulf Standard Time slash Hawaii Standard Time is charged on any administrative fees associated with a group life insurance plan. 6.2 Group Term Insurance Coverage With Individual Life Insurance, the policyholder has considerable freedom, when deciding on the amount of coverage to purchase. Under a group life insurance plan, the coverage is restricted by the terms of the plan. All members of the plan receive a prescribed amount of base coverage, i.e., the coverage that is automatically provided for each member of the plan. Depending on the plan, they may or may not be able to buy additional optional coverage. 
Most group life insurance takes the form of yearly renewable term insurance, particularly for the base coverage. 6.2.1 Schedule of Benefits The base level of coverage provided by a group insurance plan is usually prescribed by a schedule of benefits that is part of the master contract. If the group plan has different membership classes, then a different schedule of benefits will apply to each class. The schedule of benefits usually takes one of the following formats, black small square earnings multiple, black small square flat rate, black small square length of service, black small square combination. These are explained in more detail below. 13. PWC. Insurance industry, key tax rates and updates. Online. Revised September 30, 2020. Consulted May 5, 2021. HTTPS colon slash slash www.pwc.com slash CA slash and slash industries slash insurance slash publications slash insurance dash industry dash key tax rates updates dot HTML. HTTPS colon slash slash www.pwc.com slash CA slash and slash industries slash insurance slash publications slash insurance dash industry dash key. Tax rates updates. HTML Life Insurance Chapter 6, Group Life Insurance 98. 6.2.1.1 Earnings Multiple. The most common schedule of benefits is an earnings multiple schedule, which provides coverage equal to a multiple or fraction of the member's base salary, i.e., excluding bonuses or overtime. Coverage provided under an earnings multiple schedule may be limited to a maximum specified by the plan. 6.2.1.2 Flat Rate Under a flat rate schedule, every group member receives the same dollar amount of life insurance coverage, regardless of their position, salary or wage. Flat rate benefit schedules are often used by unionized groups that cover employees who earn an hourly wage. 6.2.1.3 Length of Service Some older plans may be based on length of service to the employer, they were intended to reward long-serving employees. However, this type of schedule is rarely used today. 6.2.1. For combination. Some employers opt for a combination schedule that incorporates several factors, such as earnings and position. For example, a schedule of benefits may provide an earnings multiple benefit to salaried employees and a flat rate to hourly employees. Example. Sandy, Maria and Rob all work for a company that manufactures electronics. Their employer's group life insurance plan offers the following. Life insured and salary category benefit provided by the group life insurance plan. Sandy works on the assembly line and earns $23 per hour. Hourly paid employees flat rate coverage of $50,000. Rob is a manager with a salary of $92,000, plus an annual bonus, which is typically around $10,000. Manager amount equivalent to one times the annual salary. Maria is the vice president and her salary is $190,000, with the potential for a bonus of up to 30%. Executive amount equivalent to twice the annual salary. So Sandy's life is insured for $50,000, Rob's life is insured for $92,000, and Maria's life is insured for $380,000. 6.2.2 Coverage Maximums Most group life insurance plans place a cap on the amount of coverage for any single plan member, particularly when coverage is a multiple of earnings for highly paid employees. 6.2.3 Reductions for Older or Retired Group Members Recall that the risk of death generally increases with age, and thus the cost of insurance also increases with age. To keep costs reasonable for the group as a whole, the plan schedule of benefits may specify reduced coverage for older or retired members. Depending on the plan, the reduced coverage may be determined as Black Small Square A Fixed Percentage of Pre-Retirement Coverage Black Small Square A Fixed Dollar Amount Black small square a gradual decline each year until the specified minimum is reached. Example Carl is a member of his employer's group life insurance plan, which provides a base benefit of $100,000.
He plans to retire next year, when he turns 60 years old. At that time, his coverage will drop to 50% of the base coverage. At age 65 it will drop to 25% of the base coverage, and at age 70 coverage ceases completely. 6.2 point for optional additional coverage. In addition to the base coverage that is provided to all group members, some group plans allow members to purchase additional coverage. This allows the member some ability to customize the coverage to his unique needs. The member must be enrolled in the plan's base life insurance plan before he can buy the additional coverage. Usually the group member will have to provide evidence of insurability when applying for the additional coverage because the ability to choose the coverage amount creates the potential for adverse selection, also known as anti-selection. Adverse selection refers to the phenomenon where someone who is at greater risk, or who perceives himself to be at greater risk, is more likely to buy insurance to cover that risk, and is more likely to make a claim than the average person within the group. However, some group plans allow the member to buy additional coverage without providing evidence of insurability if they do so within a specified period of time, example, within 60 days of being eligible for group life insurance. This prevents the plan member from waiting until he experiences signs of illness to buy the additional coverage, which is an example of adverse selection. While the employer usually pays at least 50% of the premiums for the group plan's base coverage, the member typically must pay the full amount of premiums for any optional coverage. 6.2.4.1 Term Coverage The majority of this additional coverage takes the form of term life insurance. It is usually available in multiples of fixed units, example, $25,000 per unit. Members can buy as many additional units as they want up to a maximum. Members cannot buy partial units. The total amount of coverage, base coverage plus additional coverage, is usually subject to an overall maximum amount. Example Mario is 55 years old and he recently started a new job. He was automatically enrolled in the company's group life insurance plan last week, which covers him for $75,000. He just took out a new mortgage for $200,000, and he would like to add $200,000 of life insurance to cover this debt if he dies. Because of health issues, individual insurance would be very expensive, assuming he could even get coverage. However, his group life insurance plan allows members to buy up to 10 units of additional term insurance coverage, where each unit is $25,000. As long as they apply for this coverage within 60 days of joining the plan, no evidence of insurability is required. Thus, Mario can take advantage of the group life insurance plan to get the coverage he needs at a more affordable cost. Some plans extend this optional coverage to the member's spouse, with the same coverage units and maximums. This is separate from the coverage that may be available on the spouse under a dependent coverage provision, as discussed in the section Dependent Life Coverage. 6.2.4.2 Permanent Coverage In rare cases, the optional coverage may include some type of permanent life insurance, such as whole life. However, permanent life insurance is more commonly an option upon policy conversion, as discussed in the section Conversion Privileges. 6.3 Dependent Life Coverage most group life insurance plans give members the option of buying life insurance coverage on their dependents. As long as they place this coverage within a short time of joining the plan, example, 60 days, they will not have to provide proof of insurability for those dependents. If a member's marital status changes, some plans allow the member to place coverage on the dependents without proof of insurability as long as it is done within a specified period of time. Because dependent coverage is optional, the principle of adverse selection applies. A member is more likely to take advantage of the dependent coverage if that dependent is a poor insurance risk. As a result, premiums for dependent coverage are often higher than premiums on an independent single life policy. 6.3.1 Definition of Dependent The definition of dependent for the purpose of group life insurance may vary with each group plan, but it typically includes Black small square the plan member's spouse or common law partner includes both opposite sex and same sex relationships. Black small square the plan member's children, if they depend on the member for financial support, and they are between the ages of 14 days 
and an upper limit, often 18, 19, or 21 years of age. Coverage applies to biological, adopted and stepchildren. Extended coverage may be available past the specified age as long as the child continues to attend school full-time, up to a maximum age, usually between 23 to 25 years of age. If the child is disabled and unable to work, coverage may be available indefinitely. In many group plans, dependent coverage applies to all of the member's dependents, regardless of the number of dependents. Example Chuck and Paul both work at the same company, and they are both covered for $200,000 under their employer's group life insurance plan. Chuck is married, but he and his wife do not have any children. Paul has a wife and two young children, and they expect a third child in a few months. Chuck and Paul both opted to buy the optional dependent coverage offered by their group plan. Despite the difference in the number of their dependents, Chuck and Paul will pay the same premiums. Also, Paul's newborn will automatically be covered under the plan after reaching 14 days of age. However, some group plans require the plan member to apply and pay for separate coverage for each eligible dependent. 6.3.2 Death Benefit Amount The death benefit under dependent life coverage is quite modest compared to the coverage on the member's own life or the optional spousal coverage available under some plans. While the actual amount will vary with the policy, dependent coverage is usually in the range of $5,000 to $20,000 on the spouse's life, with 50% of this amount on the life of each dependent child. 6.3.3 Premiums Premiums for dependent life insurance are usually the same for each group plan member, regardless of his age or number of his dependents. However, some group life insurance plans do require a separate premium for each dependent. Because the amount of coverage is so low, the annual premium is quite small, example, dependent life insurance that covers all children for $10,000 might cost in the order of $2 per month. 6. Point for Survivor Income Benefits Some group life insurance plans also provide a monthly survivor income benefit in addition to a death benefit when a group plan member dies. The survivor income benefit is normally an optional benefit that can be purchased by the plan member. 6.4.1 Beneficiaries The survivor income benefit is normally payable to the plan member's surviving spouse or common-law partner, until that person reaches age 65, remarries or dies. Survivor income benefits may also be payable to the plan member's surviving children, until they reach a certain age, example, until age 21. This duration may be extended for children who are attending school full-time. Some plans give the plan member the option of choosing survivor income benefits that are only payable to the surviving children. 6.4.2 Benefit Amount While the exact amount will depend on the group plan, the survivor income benefit is normally expressed as a percentage of the group member's monthly salary just prior to death. Example a group life insurance plan offered by University ABC allows plan members to buy coverage that will pay monthly survival income benefits equal to 25% of the member's monthly basic earnings to the surviving spouse, plus 5% of monthly basic earnings to each surviving child. Some plans call for higher benefits to be paid to the surviving children if the plan member's spouse predeceased him, i.e., if the children were orphaned by the plan member's death. Survivor income benefits may be subject to a monthly, annual or cumulative cap, depending on the plan. 6.5 Accidental Death and Dismemberment, ADND Group life insurance plans often provide accidental death and dismemberment, ADND, benefits. Under the accidental death portion of ADND coverage, the insurance company will pay an extra benefit, over and above the regular death benefit, if the plan member dies as a result of an accident. This extra benefit is usually equal to the basic death benefit. Under the accidental dismemberment portion of AD&D coverage, the insurance company will pay a lump sum if the plan member loses a specific body part or body function as a result of an accident. The lump sum is usually equal to or a fixed percentage of the basic death benefit, depending on the extent of the loss. This is covered in more detail in the Accident and Sickness Insurance Module. 
6.5.1 Basic versus Voluntary AD&D Some group life insurance plans automatically provide AD&D coverage to plan members, this is referred to as basic AD&D. The amount of basic AD&D benefits is usually tied to the benefit otherwise payable upon death. Other plans give plan members the option of buying AD&D coverage, this is referred to as voluntary AD&D. Like optional life insurance coverage, voluntary AD&D is usually purchased in multiples of a specific unit, example, $10,000 or $25,000, and the member can buy multiple units up to a maximum amount. Charlotte's group life insurance plan provides a death benefit equal to her annual salary, or $120,000. She also purchased four units of voluntary AD&D coverage, at $25,000 per unit. If she dies as a result of an accident, her beneficiaries will receive a total of $220,000, calculated as $120,000 plus, for times $25,000. However, if she dies as a result of an illness, her beneficiaries will only receive $120,000. Because AD&D benefits are only payable as a result of an accident, evidence of insurability is not required. 6.5.1.1 Coverage for Dependents Some group insurance plans also allow the member to buy AD&D coverage for his spouse and or children. Usually, coverage for the dependents is a fixed percentage of the coverage on the plan member himself. Example, the Group Life Insurance Plan for University DEF alumni allows members to buy $25,000 of AD&D coverage for $1 per month for member-only coverage, or $1.38 for the member and family plan. Under this plan, the member's spouse and children are covered for a percentage of the member's own AD&D benefits as follows. 6.5.2 Exclusions AD&D benefits will only be paid if the loss occurs as a result of an unexpected violent or traumatic event. However, losses due to certain activities or events are often excluded. Common exclusions include losses that result from black small square self-inflicted injuries, black small square war, black small square act of service in the armed forces, black small square commission of a crime by the insured, black small square driving while impaired, black small square piloting a non-commercial aircraft. 6.5.3 Overall Limits If voluntary AD&D coverage is available in multiples of a fixed unit, the group plan will typically place an overall limit on the number of units that a group member can buy example, units of $10,000 to a maximum of 10 units, or $100,000. 6.6 Conversion Privileges a member of a group life insurance plan generally has the right to convert some or all of his group life insurance coverage to individual coverage with the same insurance company, without providing proof of insurability, if Black small square he leaves the plan because he retires or changes employers. Black small square he is no longer a member of the sponsoring organization. Black small square the plan itself is terminated. Example Derek's employer is experiencing financial hardship, and it has terminated the group plan to cut costs. While Derek may be able to convert his coverage to an individual policy, see the section conversion privileges, it will still be considerably more expensive than the group insurance coverage, and he will have to pay the premiums himself. 6.6.1 in Quebec The Quebec Act respecting insurance includes specific rules that protect a group member's rights, when he leaves a group life insurance plan, or when the master contract expires or is cancelled. 6.6.1.1 Leaving the plan The Quebec Act respecting insurance 14 specifies that if a group life insurance plan member leaves the group prior to age 65, he must be given the option of converting some or all of his life insurance coverage into the same amount of individual insurance. This also applies to any spousal or dependent life insurance coverage that existed under the group plan. The amount of insurance on the participant's life that is eligible for conversion must be at least $10,000 and may not exceed $400,000. In addition, the amount of dependent life insurance that may be converted must be at least $5,000 for his spouse and for each dependent, 
without exceeding the amount of insurance on the life of those persons on the conversion date. The plan member must be allowed to exercise these conversion rights for at least 31 days after leaving the group, without providing evidence of insurability for himself, his spouse or dependents. The group insurance will remain in force during that 31-day period or until it is converted into individual insurance. The member must be given the following options upon conversion. Black small square coverage that is comparable to that provided by the group insurance contract as to the amount and the term or Black small square individual life insurance for one year, providing protection comparable to that provided under the group insurance contract, but convertible at the end of the year into permanent protection. 6.6.1.2 Master Contract Terminates If the master contract expires and is not replaced, or if it is replaced with a contract that provides for a lesser amount of insurance, any plan member who has been insured under the expired contract for at least five years must be given the option of converting all or a part of his coverage into individual life insurance within 31 days of expiry of the master contract. The amount of insurance eligible for conversion upon expiry of the master contract must be at least $10,000 or 25% of the amount of the member's life insurance, whichever amount is greater. 6.6.2 In the rest of Canada While conversion privileges are not governed by provincial laws in the rest of Canada, the industry does follow the guidelines set forth by the Canadian Life and Health Insurance Association 15, CLHIA. These guidelines provide similar protection in that Black small square on or before reaching age 65, a plan member should be able to convert up to $200,000 of the group life coverage on his own life to individual insurance without providing proof of insurability. Black small square at a minimum, he should have the option of choosing yearly renewable term or term to age 65. The plan member must apply for the conversion within 31 days of the termination of his coverage under the group life insurance plan. Note that unlike Quebec, the CLHIA guidelines are silent on conversion privileges for coverage on the plan member's spouse or other dependents. In practice, most group insurance plans that provide optional group coverage on the life of the member's spouse extend the same conversion privileges to that coverage. However, dependent coverage is often not convertible. 6.6.3 Premiums Upon Conversion when a group member leaves the plan and converts his group life insurance to individual coverage, he should compare the premiums for that coverage to the premiums for a brand new individual policy. In the case of the converted policy, adverse selection applies, in other words, a person who is otherwise uninsurable, or who has a higher risk of dying is more likely to convert his group coverage to individual coverage. Also, the insurance company does not get the chance to perform its normal medical underwriting that would apply to a brand new applicant. These factors increase the insurance company's risk, which results in higher premiums on the converted coverage. 6.7 Replacement Contracts Employers are always looking for ways to reduce the cost of the benefits they provide to their employees or to enhance those benefits without increasing costs. This means that they sometimes change group insurance providers and replace existing contracts with new ones. The CLHIA guidelines are designed to ensure that a group life insurance plan member does not lose coverage solely because the plan sponsor has decided to change insurers or because he was not actively at work at the time of the change. However, if there were several classes of membership under the old plan example, management, clerical and labor, and one of those classes is not covered by the replacement plan, then members of the old plan who fall into that class would not be entitled to coverage under the new plan. 6.7.1 Benefit Amounts As long as the plan member is eligible for insurance under the terms of the replacement contract, then he should be covered for the same amount under the replacement contract, subject to the maximums of that replacement contract. 6.8 Disabled Members Group life insurance policies typically include a waiver of premium provision, which stipulates that, if the member is disabled, the insurance company will waive the premiums for a specific period of time specified in the contract, while still providing coverage. In fact, CLHIA guidelines require that the premium must continue to be waived and coverage continued even if the employer terminates the group contract with the insurance company. 6.9 Group Creditor Insurance 
Financial institutions often encourage their borrowers to obtain life insurance to cover the debts they have with that financial institution. This most commonly occurs with mortgages, but can apply to any consumer debt. While the borrowers are free to obtain that life insurance elsewhere, most lenders offer the convenience of group creditor insurance to their customers. This is a subset of group life insurance, where the financial institution is the policyholder and the borrowers are the plan members. Because consumers often have misconceptions about how creditor insurance works, the Canadian Life and Health Insurance Association, CLHIA, has published Guideline 16 to help protect borrowers who purchase group creditor insurance. These guidelines require the lender to disclose the following to the borrower at the time of applying for the creditor insurance. Black small square that the insurance coverage is voluntary and is not required for approval of the loan. Black small square that the borrower has at least 20 days after receiving the certificate of insurance to cancel the coverage and obtain a full refund. Black small square that the borrower has the right to cancel the coverage at any time. Black small square all terms and conditions that might limit, restrict or exclude coverage, such as, but not limited to, pre-existing conditions and the consequences of misrepresentation. Black small square the amount of the premium, or how it is calculated. Black small square that the coverage is subject to acceptance by the insurer. Black small square any further steps the borrower must take. Black small square the insurer's obligation to notify the borrower if coverage is declined. Black small square the terms upon which coverage starts if the application is accepted. 6.9.1 Death Benefit The amount of the death benefit payable under group creditor insurance is generally limited to the amount of the debt outstanding. If this is the case, then the death benefit decreases as the debt is repaid. 6.9.2 Beneficiary The beneficiary of group creditor insurance is the lending financial institution, which will use the proceeds to extinguish the debt. Because the death benefit is generally limited to the amount of the debt outstanding, there is no residual benefit to the borrower's estate. 6.9.3 Premiums Premiums for group creditor insurance are typically based on the borrower's age, within a range of 5 to 10 years, and smoking status. How these rates are applied depends on the policy and the type of loan. Mortgage insurance, for example, typically bases the premium on the original mortgage amount. It is essentially decreasing term insurance, the premium will not change, even as the mortgage balance and thus the death benefit declines over time. The premiums for creditor life insurance on a line of credit, however, tend to be based on the outstanding loan at the end of each month or averaged over the year. 6.9.4 For additional coverage Some group creditor life insurance providers also offer coverage if the borrower becomes disabled, suffers a critical illness, or even becomes unemployed. This protection may be provided as part of the base creditor life insurance package, or it may be offered separately. 6.9.4.1 Disability Group creditor disability insurance will pay the lender a monthly benefit if the borrower becomes disabled and is unable to work. The amount will be the lesser of the monthly loan payment or a specified maximum. Benefits may continue as long as the borrower remains disabled or for a limited period of time. A cumulative maximum may also apply. 6.9.4.2 Critical Illness Group creditor critical illness insurance will pay off the outstanding debt if the borrower is diagnosed with a covered illness. The benefit is paid regardless of whether the borrower can work or not. 6.9.4.3 Unemployment Group creditor unemployment insurance will pay the lender a monthly benefit if the borrower loses his job through no fault of his own. These benefits are normally limited to a specific dollar amount or duration. 6.10 Group Life Insurance versus Individual Life Insurance The differences between group life and individual life insurance are highlighted in Table 6.1. Table 6.1 Group Life Insurance versus Individual Life Insurance Group Life Insurance Individual Life Insurance Control of policy the employer or plan sponsor owns and controls the policy. 
The policyholder owns and controls the policy. Evidence of insurability Generally no evidence of insurability is required during the enrollment period. Evidence of insurability is required. Premiums Premiums are based on the makeup of the group. Premiums are based on the health of the individual. Poor health status People in poor health can get coverage at affordable rates. People in poor health will be denied coverage or will have to pay higher premiums. Guaranteed premiums Premiums are only guaranteed for one year at a time. The policyholder can choose yearly renewal term coverage, 5-year term, 20-year term, etc., where rates are guaranteed for the term. Coverage Black Small Square Coverage rarely continues past age 65. Black Small Square Base Coverage amounts are dictated by the plan, and optional coverage is usually limited. Black Small Square can obtain term coverage to age 75 or 80, or permanent coverage until death. Black Small Square coverage can be customized to the individual needs. 6.11 Advantages and Disadvantages of Group Life Insurance The advantages and disadvantages of group life insurance are summarized in Table 6.2. Table 6.2 Advantages and Disadvantages of Group Life Insurance Advantages Disadvantages Black Small Square No evidence of insurability is required. Individuals who are in poor health, have a pre-existing condition, or who smoke will still be covered, with affordable premiums. Black Small Square Some or all of the premiums may be paid by the employer. Black Small Square It is convenient for the employee. Black small square coverage may be converted to individual coverage without proof of insurability if the policy terminates or the member leaves the plan. Black small square people in very good health will pay the same premiums as the rest of the group. Black small square the employer or plan sponsor controls the plan and can make changes without consulting the group members. Black small square the amount of coverage may not be what the plan member needs. Black Small Square The premiums for individual coverage upon conversion are not guaranteed and may not be favorable. Black Small Square Employer Paid Premiums are a taxable benefit. Life Insurance Chapter 6 Group Life Insurance 112 Chapter 7 Taxation of Life Insurance and Tax Strategies Competency Components Black Small Square Analyze the available products that meet the client's needs, Black Small Square assess the client's needs and situation. Black Small Square implement a recommendation adapted to the client's needs and situation. Competency subcomponents Black Small Square analyze the types of contracts that meet the client's needs. Black Small Square assess the appropriateness of the client's existing coverage in regards to his or her situation. Black Small Square propose a recommendation adapted to the client's needs and situation. Life Insurance Chapter 7 Taxation of Life Insurance and Tax Strategies 113